morning, Tiger. What? Don't tell me you've forgotten our clinch already. Trish. You know full well it wasn't me who... Yeah, very funny. Oh, come on, don't be embarrassed. I'm sure you enjoyed it as much as I did. See ya. That's the second one of them we've had this morning. Probably just a crank. Yes, well, I hope this doesn't mean that I've got to change my telephone number. It's bad enough with all the publicity. Uh, whoever it is will also get bored. If you say so. <laughs> Package for Mr Kalki. That's me. I've not seen you before. Just started this morning. That's lucky for me, isn't it? We'll have to see, won't we? <laughs> Ta. There you go. Nice to meet you. Uh... Jemima. Jemima. Nice name. Thanks. See ya. See ya. Nice name. What can I tell you? I'm a sucker for a pretty face. Yeah, I noticed. Must be a... Uh... Yeah, yeah, why well, I went for you. I don't need to make it sound like it's such a chore. Oh, yeah, hi. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. How are you? What? You think I'm going to make small talk with you? Obviously not. Well, at least you got that right. So why don't you just push off, eh? Come on, that's enough. I don't know where she comes off thinking I'm going to be nice to her. Well, don't worry. I'm certainly not under any illusions now, am I? Well, when you can leave it and all. It's not going to do you any good shouting at her, is it? She doesn't make it any easier for me, though, does she? Neither do you. Maybe if you concentrated on her instead of trying to get back at Sadie. It's Sadie's fault me and Debbie have fallen out to begin with. Oh, so you'll stay falling out then? Till I've dealt with Mrs King. Yeah, if I have to. That's right. Two business class tickets to Nice in the name of King. Jimmy? What on earth do you think you're doing? No, scratch that. Try, why are you doing it? Well, I thought it would be a nice surprise. Obviously. And the fact that I've said no counts for nothing, apparently. Well, it's only your pride that's stopping you. It doesn't matter what's stopping me. I've said no. But it'll be fun. Fun for you, maybe. Look, at least let me book the ticket and then you've got the option. Jimmy! <sighs> Hi, Debbie. You're not at school. Oh, no, it's a training day. Yeah, both feeling a bit bummed out by the weather. So I said, how about we have some cake? Mmm, and I said, top idea. So what have you got for us, then? You all right? All the better for seeing you. Yeah, yeah. I think we need to start watching your cholesterol level. You are? Well, we don't want you getting a high blood pressure, do we? What are you talking about? <laughs> you! You need looking after. I think that now we live together, we need to start eating more healthily. Flipping heck, Chloe. It's not like we're married, is it? I'm just saying. Long time no see. Uh. I've had a spot of parental interference to contend with, I'm afraid. Oh, yeah? Uh, Dad has decided that idling around the countryside on horseback is not the best use of my gap here. <laughs> so he's had me working in his office. <gasps> oh, hence my absence. I mean, I have been here, obviously, just not as often. We must have just missed each other. Sounds about right. I have sent you a couple of texts, as it happens. Oh, probably should have given you my new mobile number, because then I would have been able to receive them. <laughs> Might have helped. I knew there was something I had to do. Look. Don't let me leave without giving it to you, OK? I won't. All right, see you later on. See you. Come on, good boy. Going somewhere? Yep, taking the afternoon off. To do what? You'll find out soon enough. See you around. Bye, Max. Bye, Max. Hi. Bye. You all right? Yeah. What are you doing here? No, I suppose being desperate for your company won't work. No? Well, in that case, can I use your internet connection? Help yourself. What's wrong with the one at Dad's? Well, one speed and two Dad. As an ease there, and what I'm doing here is quite likely to provoke his disapproval. What have I told you, Max? It's only naked ladies. You want to be a bit more mature about it. Yeah, well, you won't want to look at this, then. 
mini breaks. Why, what do you think? Well, I suppose you'll come back and tell Dad you've been going for job interviews. Well, I could, but I think I'd prefer not to tell him anything. It's really much easier that way. Where are you going? I thought Amsterdam. Nice one. You could come along if you wanted. Uh, I'd better not. I'm worried the missus might object. No, I'm busy with work. You know the concept. Work, I mean. Oh, familiar. But you know what they say? All work and no play makes Carl duller and more middle-aged than he already is. <laughs> I play hard enough, thank you very much. Don't you worry about it. Oh, pardon me, then. What is it these days? Golf? Bowls? Ma Young? You are not serious. Yeah. Which is why I want to do the old mic night. Get it? Not serious. What? Don't you think I'm funny enough? Uh, well... Uh, I would respectfully refuse to answer on the grounds of self-incrimination, if I were you. Oh, very witty. So I take it I don't have your wholehearted support, then? Uh, again, take the fifth. Take the fifth. Paul, oh, shush. Think about it logically. We are going on holidays on Friday. Have you started packing? Because I know I haven't. No. Exactly. So how are you going to find the time to come up with an act? Well, I'll manage somehow. I mean, it's a matter of honour now. OK, um, what if you make a fool of yourself? What, you think I'm a fool now? No, that's just my opinion against thousands of others. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing, dear. Well, my flight leaves at three, so I guess I should get to the airport for, say, one o'clock. Well, one of us will drive you to the airport, so don't bother booking a cab. Is there any chance of that husband of yours cracking his face in a smile this afternoon? Hmm? Oh, decided to join us, have you? Oh, he's feeling a bit run down, aren't you, you poor thing? I'll oh, just leave it, will you? Well, she's only looking after your interests, isn't you? Listen, would he cramp your style if you took him to this expo thing? No, of course not. Right. Take him with you. And the pair of you can grab a couple of weeks while you're out there, recharge your batteries. I don't really need to... See? This is what I have to contend with. I don't understand this. I'm offering you some time off, man. You should jump at the chance. Well, yeah, but... Good, then that's settled. You're going to France. Mm -hmm. There you go. Your dad is OK. That doesn't sound very encouraging. He's not ill, is he? No. No, he's fine. Yeah. He's just been through a lot lately. Did anything come of that television interview? There was a lot of interest at first, but none of it's gone anywhere. Now it seems to have gone quiet. Shame. Or at least it looks like it has. Anyway, I think that your dad is coming round to the idea that... Well, that Shelley's really gone for good. Ethan, you don't mean gone for good. You mean dead. It's not like she's retired to Bogner now, is it? No. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to gloss over things. Good. Look, this has been a difficult situation for everyone. I know that. I thought if he appeared on that interview that, that Shelley might come forward. I thought I was helping. You have. No, I haven't. At least why my dad thought she was missing. He had hope. We had hope. If he thinks she's dead, then as far as he's concerned, I killed her. Yes, but you didn't. Not what my dad thinks. Lost my old one, bought a new one, and the network won't let me have my old number. Goodness knows how many messages I've missed. Hundreds. <laughs> nice to know you think I'm that popular. There you go. Right, that's me done. Hello, mate. Oh, hi, Jack. Hi. Hello, boss. All right, if I take my break now. Yeah, very funny. Right, I'll be off. Take care, you guys. Bye. See ya. She seems very nice. Yeah, she is. What? Me and her? No. She's way out of my league, that one. Hey, it's none of my business either way. We're just mates. Oh? Of course. Seriously? <laughs> the nights are the worst. It's never quiet. You can't get any rest. Like an echo chamber. Women screaming, moaning in their sleep, fighting. I'm frightened, Ethan. I can't survive in here. He's driving me out of my mind. Steph, you are telling the truth. That is the one thing that you have to hold on to. You didn't do it. You have to keep that firmly in your mind. I know that you're not guilty. Do you? How? All right, it's what I believe. You're not perfect. You've made mistakes, but you are not a murderer. 
Steph. See her over there. Moira. She has me flowery Dell. She's driving me around the twist. She's got needy little eyes. Nervous, needy little ways. Desperate for me to like her. Always apologising. Who she remind you of? Not sure how healthy that is. Shelley. That's who she reminds me of. Shelley. I keep asking myself, what attracts these little waifs and strays to me, eh? Moths round a flame, I suppose. All right, busy. Oh. Was I missed? Yeah, sure. Ah, oh. how did you get to this afternoon anyway? I went shopping. Hmm. Buy me anything nice? I did actually. A present for both of us. Hmm. Something slinky and revealing, I hope. Oh. What then? Carl, I'd like you to meet Fen. Fen. Yeah, short for Fenella. The evil kettle witch from Charlton and the Weavers. Yeah, that mm. figures. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Think about it. Oh, what should I? And hasn't she put me through enough? Steph is in a very vulnerable, emotional place right now. I don't think me making another visit will alleviate that. Not in my current state of mind. It might. You are the one thing she has got left in her life right now. Well, I'm sorry, but she's she's made her bed. Alan. No. I've already risked spoiling the police case by going on that television show. Uh, I, I've given her the benefit of my doubt. But, well, as, as much as I can, anyway. Uh, and I've had all my hopes have been just confounded. There comes a time when enough's enough. Hello? Look, I am seriously worried about her, OK? Seriously worried. Hello? In that case, maybe you should back off. I mean, this is, this is not your problem. It never has been. 
Right, so now I'm too personally involved. Is that what you're saying? Well, that's what I'm hearing, quite frankly. Oh, flaming nuisance. Or another one? Oh, the usual thing. Nobody speaking at the other end. Have you had a few of these? Oh. Uh, yes. Hasn't it occurred to you that that might be Shelley calling? Look, with Betty's telephone number in the public domain and, and, and me appearing on telly, it's probably just another crank. Forgive me, Alan, but even finding out where that call came from could decide whether, Steph, your own daughter spends the rest of her life in prison or not. You know, I'm getting really very tired of playing the defendant to your Grand Inquisitor. Look, I'm sorry I didn't mean Yeah, to. I'm sure you are. But I am tired, and Betty is about to serve our dinner. So, uh, I think it's time you left. Of course. Oh, Chloe, don't have him on the sofa. Oh, she's not doing any harm. I didn't know you liked dogs anyway. Everybody likes dogs. Besides, Anya will be pleased. What's Anya got to do with it? It's just you mentioned she wanted a puppy, that's all. All right. So, she's going to love having Fenny when she comes to visit, isn't she? Rosie kids will. I'm still not sure it's all right to leave a dog alone in the house while you're at work. Plenty of other people manage. But it's a small house, and oh, she's going to... Oh, will you just relax? It's a dog. It's not like we're making a major life decision here. No, I'm just looking for some ideas, that's all. You haven't thought of any jokes or out? Two pounds. Not as such, no. Let me get this straight. You've signed up for Open Mic Night, which is on Friday. And you haven't a single notion what you're going to do? Not really, no. Well, good luck with that, then. Well, no, I was just thinking, Paul, being in the business, I thought you might have some spare Do you? Uh, do you want to wear a frock on stage? No. Then no, I don't have any spare material. Anything I have is all very frock orientated. Oh. It beats me why you want to do it in the first place. I mean, why would you want to get on stage and bear your soul? <laughs> Darling, you're a stripper. Your soul's about the only thing you haven't bared on stage. You know what I mean. It's just going to be very lonely if no one's laughing. Actually, that is a point. Maybe that's why some of the best comedy comes from double acts. Yeah, well, I suppose it's less scary of this two of you. Of course, you need a partner, somebody with experience and timing and uh, you'd have to be the straight man of course yeah because we know we definitely won't be <laughs> <laughs> well, i think there's definitely something homoerotic about your average double act you are very very strange can someone help me with this please that could be a sign hello mr firstborn you fancy a pint or rather you fancy buying me a pint no thanks i've still got lots of work to do well, at this time. Some of us don't stop just because the clock says 5.30, you know. Dad says you're getting a holiday. Not my choice, believe me. What is it with this family? Protestant work ethic's completely taken over. You of all people want to watch that, Jim. Oh, yeah? And why me in particular? Yeah, you're not far off 40, are you? What's that got to do with anything? Well, is this what it feels like, that you're duty-bound to turn middle-aged? You don't know the half. That's what I'm asking. Do you want to know what it's like? It's grafting for 24 years for people who don't give a monkeys. Taking everything that they throw at you, thinking, hoping, that when you get to this age, you might get some respect, some control. Then you find out that everything's exactly the same. Except you're 40. That's what it's like. So it's suicide at 39, then? Of course, we'll get all the regular exercise walking, yeah? Yes, I get it. The dog's a good idea. Oh, so we've come round to my way of thinking now, have we? <laughs> no. Yeah, but just look at her. She's so cute. Well, I'll admit she's cute. Good grief. Where'd you get that? Uh, uh, Chloe bought her this afternoon. I wasn't talking to you. Do you fancy a pint? Uh, I don't know, actually. Apparently, we're walking the dog. Well, you're not going to grudge him a drink with his uh, younger brother, will you? I mean, you've got a new member of the family to play with, after all. Of course not. Go on, then. Thank you. See you later. Mwah. You needed rescuing, right? I've got no idea. And one for yourself, darling. Oh, tap. Mm -hmm. Jimmy was in earlier. Oh, yeah? A bit nervy, was he? Why? Because saw him this morning. He was like a cat not bricks, which I'm guessing is the effect I'm beginning to have on him. Desired effect, of course. Oh, yes. Yeah? What? Well, if you're going to get Jimmy where I think you want to get him, you're going to have to work quick. Why? He's going to France with Serda. What? 
I know I overheard. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Just a minor setback, that's all. Oh, great. This is all I need. Come on, Chess. Hiya. Paul, serve these two, will you? Of course. What can I get you, gents? OK, for the second time today, I find myself saying you are not serious. Oh, it'll be fun. Standing on a stage, not being laughed at, will not be fun. It'll be excruciating. No, but they will laugh. I mean, they will, I promise. I mean, there won't be anybody not laughing. Yeah, funnily enough, I don't find that encouraging. Oh, go on, just for me. Why is this so important to you, really? Well, I just thought it might be something that we could um, do together. I know I'm going to regret this. You're good on you. I was just looking. But I told you not to touch them. I know, but I was interested. But I told you not to touch them. I'm sorry. Curiosity got the better of me, that's all. Yeah. Don't touch my cuttings again. Sorry. Why don't you ever do what you're told? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Shelley, will you stop apologising? You know it makes me angry. Look, just shut up, all right? Don't touch my cuttings again. Hello. Hello. Anyone there? Look, whoever you are, I know you probably don't have much excitement in your life, but that's no reason to keep phoning up and harassing people, is it? Uh, if you don't stop this, I'm afraid I shall have no alternative but to phone the police. Right? Goodbye. <laughs> Hello? Is that you? Shelley? It is, isn't it? Oh, please, pl please, please talk to me. Never. 